We just found the letter here at this statue and uh, we're getting ready to open it. But wait, before you open it, um, there's some people over there that I've been noticing are watching us. I think I even saw them using binoculars. Maybe we're just being paranoid. Let's just move places and see if they are still looking at us. It reminds me a little bit of uh, how I noticed that there was a car following us the other day. Do you guys remember that car that was following us? Yeah. So, I don't know if these are the same people or not, but um, if, we're being, if we're being followed, I really think we should probably go somewhere safer. Okay, well let's walk away and just see if they follow us or not. Because right, it might be nothing, you're probably right. Okay, we started walking away and they started following us. So wait, we're definitely not safe. We're gonna get somewhere safe where we can read the letter. Our adventure comes. Hey guys, welcome back to the beach house. Good morning, we have this letter and we are safe and sound in our hotel room. We just woke up, it's the next day and uh, we're gonna open up the letter and see where we are going today. Dear Beach Family, I hope you enjoyed this little game I made for you, but the adventure is only just beginning. I have more fun awaiting your family as you get closer to your destination. I cannot just tell you where you're going because I must reveal it to you one step at a time. I'm afraid if I give you all the information, you would betray me and take the treasure for yourself. I don't know how I like that. Like, he wants our help, but he's afraid of us or something. He's coveting something that he doesn't even have. He's, he wants that treasure all to himself, it sounds like. So I think that we need to decide for ourselves why we're doing this. Yeah. Are we doing this for money? Are we doing this for fame? Are we doing this for fun? Are we doing this to help to somebody? Help somebody? Are we doing this to be together as a family? Because if there's danger involved and if there's greed involved, we need to be really, really careful what kind of an example we set for these kids. Okay. By now you may have noticed the journal I sent you is incomplete. This is intentional. I had to protect my interests. I want, I want to trust your family will help me. But treasure and riches can change people. That's true. I cannot let that happen. The treasure belongs to my family. Hmm. Anyway, you're getting closer, but still have a ways to go before you're ready for the details of my great-great-grandfather's buried gold treasure. I hope you're enjoying your trip so far. I have I have more fun planned for you at your next destination. Sincerely, Ian Graves. P.S. Don't forget to take a left turn here if you want to find your next clue. At the old town, watch out for rattlesnakes. And it says, take a left turn. What does that mean right here where it says, don't forget to take a left turn here? That's a really good question. If you want to find your next clue. So, I grew up watching old Bugs Bunny cartoons. And if you remember, anytime, I think there's like a million times in all the episodes of Bugs Bunny where he, you know how he goes under the ground and he builds a little tunnel wherever he's going, and then he'd pop up in random places? Uh -huh. And then he'd pull out his map because he was not where he expected he was going to be? <laughs> he'd always pull out his map, and every time he'd say, Oh, it seems I forgot to take a left turn at Albuquerque. <laughs> a left turn at Albuquerque? We're in Albuquerque. Wait, no, we're not. Oh, Albuquerque. We're not in Albuquerque. We're in Amarillo. Amarillo. But he would always say, Oh, looks like I forgot to take a left turn at Albuquerque. <laughs> Don't you remember? Am I the only one who remembers yeah, I, that? I, I can't remember that. It's from Bugs Bunny. I've seen Bugs Bunny. Am I just really old that I am the only... <laughs> I've So, he's saying, Don't forget to take a left turn here. Where? Albuquerque. Albuquerque. I think that's where we're supposed okay. to go. Hmm. Okay. Don't look much like Los Angeles to me. I knew I should have taken that left coin at Albuquerque. Let's go to Albuquerque. Albuquerque. <laughs> and uh, let's try to see if we can be safe. Keep an eye out for people following us because that's Hello. really scary Hello. yesterday. Hello. Okay, so we were just taking a quick break at the gas station, filling up, going to the bathroom, 
We're about to hit the road. Everybody's ready to go, but I was re rereading this letter again, and I just noticed a couple of things that I wanted to say about it, which I thought were really interesting. Um, number one, he said, you may have noticed that the journal I sent you is incomplete. This is intentional. I had to protect my interests. So it almost sounds to me like maybe there was more information in the journal, like more clues about where where Josiah Graves buried the treasure. Yeah. But maybe those ripped pages were pages that Ian tore out so Whoa. that we wouldn't have all the information in the journal. So we would just know where to go? Or? So the journal tells the story, yeah. but what we're missing are the actual clues which lead to the treasure. Wow. And so I think he tore those pages out to protect his interests because he wants to trust us but he can't let anybody steal it, and so he wants to kind of make okay. sure that we're doing so it right. So that leads me to a couple of questions. Like, who even is this guy anyway, and can we trust what he's saying? Because why would, if he has all the clues, why would he just go there and get it himself, you know? Well, I know in the first letter he said he exhausted all of his options. He's already tried to solve it he for generations, that. but they can't figure it out, so that's why they came to us. He says that, but did he really? Because, okay, okay, you know what it's reminding me of? It reminds me of Harry Potter when Voldemort couldn't go into the Ministry of Magic because he was a wanted man. And he couldn't go there, so he tricked Harry in a dream into thinking that he was torturing Sirius. <laughs> you know what I mean? But he intentionally, he couldn't go there and that's why he needed Harry to do it. Why does, why does he need us to do it? If he's got all the clues, why? What reason could that be that we would have to be the ones to do it? That's I, my question. I think it's because, like he said, he's tried to solve it, but he can't. That's what he told us. Him? It's one of those things that it could go either way. Yeah. Right? He could be telling us the truth, in which case he needs our help, but he also could be not telling us the truth. And I don't know for what purpose. Why would he not tell us the truth, I guess? Well, that's what I'm curious about, because. Who's to say that he's, he is telling the truth? I don't know. But I've been thinking too about a lot of stuff he said too, because in a lot of his letters he's like, don't tell anybody about what you're reading in the journal, what you're finding uh, in the journal. I wonder if girl. those people that are following us are trying to steal the journal. Oh. Because they know what we're after. They we need know. to make sure to bring in the journal whenever we go to a hotel and stuff. We had it with us last night. I kept it with us. Okay. It was in the hotel room with us. Good. But I'm just thinking, like, what if those people are after? They know that we have the, the map or the book, and so they're trying to steal it from us. Or they're trying to follow us so maybe yeah. they can beat us to the treasure. So we got to keep our eyes watching out for, for people following us, for yeah. sure. Taking a little break at a rest stop here. There's a taco truck. There's shop. a taco truck here. Charlie, have you been enjoying the drive today? Yeah. Okay, so part of the reason I stopped actually was because um, I did notice that there was another car following us again. Uh, but we've been driving for two hours and I wanted to see if they were going to pull off at the rest stop. And they actually didn't. So I think we're okay. I don't, I don't think we're being followed right now. So nobody followed us to the rest stop. We're gonna get out and let the kids play and get their wiggles out. We've been driving for a couple hours, so I figure this is a good time. Plus it's lunchtime and I didn't even know this was gonna happen, but there's a taco food truck here. So I think we're gonna eat some lunch. What'd you get, baby? Uh-oh, this is the quesadilla. Yeah? Come in, you took mom's. Is that the tacos? Good choice, huh? Well, I have to Move set here. up camp. <laughs> ah! You said oh, we yeah. might have to set up camp. It's a full on this meal. This is like huh? huge! Yeah, alright. And I got a burrito. <laughs> Yum. Oh man. My mouth's watering. Okay. <laughs> All right, time to hit the road. We got two more hours of driving to do, and then we are in Albuquerque. So I was 
putting Albuquerque into the GPS as we're getting ready to come out here. And um, there's a part of downtown district called Old Town. Oh. And so we're going straight there first to look around and see what kind of stuff we can find. But apparently it's got some pretty cool shops and stuff. So okay, cool. that's kind of where we're going right now. We're almost there. We're only just a couple minutes away. Yep. Alrighty, alrighty. It says Old Town on these posts. Flags. Look at these cool buildings, guys. Look at these cool buildings. Pueblo. Don't forget to take a left. A right turn. No left. <laughs> Our kids are not going to know how to say Albuquerque. 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 It's Albuquerque. Albuquerque. That's the only right way to say it is Albuquerque. Albuquerque. That's exactly what I just said. <laughs> I feel like Albuquerque sounds equally strange. <laughs> Albuquerque. Okay, so we're here at Old Town. Uh, I think we lost mom. And we're kind of looking around, just exploring. Wanted to kind of get an idea of everything that's out here. Um, maybe we'll go get a snow cone over the snow cone factory. Or maybe we'll go get some Mexican food at a restaurant or something. This place is pretty cool. Snow cone! Do you guys want snow cones? Yeah! yeah! I'm sure everybody else would too. Yeah? Let's just go find them first. Yeah, the snow cones are over there. Just checking out the strip. There's a whole bunch of cool little Come stores on. over this here. Is like locked up tight. Like there's this. And then Some there's bars, bars on that one. Um, you guys remember what the letter said though? He said go to Old Town, but then he also said take left turn. Something about beware of sna rattlesnakes. 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 Yeah, or watch out for rattlesnakes or something like that. Yeah. So we got the clue to come to Albuquerque. And go to Old Town, and now the next, the last thing is, watch out for rattlesnakes. So. Is that like part of the clue, or is it just a warning? Oh, it's a warning, but maybe it's part of the clue. I don't know. It's a good question. Watch out. What would watch out specifically mean? Would it be like watch out so you can actually go there, or watch out so you don't go there? Oh, interesting. There's an Indian doing a Oh, there's a dance going on. Let's go check it out. Is this what? Rattlesnakes. This is maybe this is where we're supposed to go. James, look out. <laughs> she got him good. <laughs> so I love reptiles and snakes and lizards. I think reptiles are my favorite kind of animals. What did the snake do? It did this. Ah. <laughs> see how much these snakes blend in? Sometimes they're almost impossible to see. So we have to be extra careful where you walk so you don't step on a snake on accident. Oh, oh I see it bite you. Did you find it? Yeah. <laughs> I, I was like, and I looked at the snake, but I couldn't see it because it was blending in with the rock. That's right. You can see the Gila monster back here. Oh, it's giant! 
It's like a huge, huge lizard. And they live in Arizona. That's where we're going. But guess what? Do they hurt us? They are venomous. They're one of they're one of two of the only venomous lizards in the world. What's the other two? The other one is the next bearded lizard. So if we're in Arizona, you guys, when we're in Arizona, because we're going to Arizona, when you guys see a lizard like this, don't touch it, because they're very, very deadly. Charlie's decided he's scared. I got you, buddy. You're okay. Okay, so we've been here at the Rattlesnake Museum for a little while, and I think we're getting ready to go, but we haven't found a clue yet, and um, I don't know where it is, but I think we're about ready to go. Charlie was getting really scared for a minute there, so I think we're getting ready to take off. I didn't want to say this before, but I did notice that there was a couple of people following us. And they were pretending to be looking at snakes, but I think they were watching us. So, um, I'm glad we're getting out of here now. <gasps> what? Mom. Why does Corbin always find it? Uh, Charlie, come here. Did you find the letter? <gasps> you found the letter. We were looking for that. I'm gonna read it, it's my turn. <laughs> it's, it, it is my turn. No, I, I found it too. <laughs> okay, but I think we need to get going because seriously, I think there's somebody following us. I don't know if you can see them or not, but they're standing on that street corner and they were following us. <laughs> guys, guys, come over here, come over here. Okay, so I, I don't know how well you could see them or not. Max, come here. Get out of the street. Okay, Becca, come here. Did you notice that person that was watching us? No. Okay. I was watching the kids. That's so, the worst part. <laughs> when I started filming them, I saw them act like they weren't watching us. Really? It's almost like they're watching us, but they don't want us to, to notice them. Like they're trying to spy on us. They're not trying to. Hmm. They're not trying to attack us or chase us. But I definitely get the vibe that they're following us and mm -hmm. watching us closely. Like maybe waiting for an opportunity when we're not paying attention. But we need to watch everybody. So we need to keep keep an eye on everybody and keep everybody close together. Okay. Um, but honestly, I think we need to get out of here as soon as possible. They're following us. We gotta go. 